The Lighthouse Keeper's Lunch by Rhonda and David Armitage. The Lighthouse Keeper's Lunch. The Lighthouse Keeper's Lunch, Rhonda and David Armitage. Once there was a lighthouse keeper called Mr. Grinling. At night time, he lived in a small white cottage, perched high on the cliffs. In the daytime, he rode out to his lighthouse on the rocks to clean and polish the light. Mr. Grinling was a most industrious light keeper. Come rain or shine, he tended his light. Sometimes at night, Mr. Grinling lay sleeping in his warm bed. The ships would toot to tell him that his light was shining brightly and clearly out to sea. Each morning, while Mr. Grinlin polished the light, Mrs. Grinlin worked in the kitchen of the little white cottage on the cliffs, concocting a delicious lunch for him. Once she had prepared the lunch, she packed it into a special basket and clipped it onto the wire that ran from the little white cottage to the lighthouse on the rock. But one Monday, something terrible happened. Mrs. Grinlin had prepared a particularly appetizing lunch. She had made a mixed seafood salad, a lighthouse sandwich, a cold chicken garni, sausages and crisps, a peach surprise, Iced sea biscuits, drinks and assorted fruit. She put the lunch in the basket and as usual, sent it down the wire. But the lunch did not arrive. It was spotted by three scavenging seagulls who set upon it and devoured it with great gusto. Clear off, you varmint, shouted Mrs. Grinlin. But the seagulls took not the slightest notice. This is an excellent peach surprise, boys. She's a good cook, Fred. Scrumptious lunch, Tom. That evening, Mr. and Mrs. Grinlin decided on a plan to baffle the seagulls. Tomorrow, I shall tie the napkin to the basket, said Mrs. Grinlin. Of course, my dear, agreed Mr. Grinlin. A sound plan. They'll have to try harder than that to stop us, Bert. On Tuesday evening, Mr. and Mrs. Grinlin racked their brains for another plan. They're a brazen lot, those seagulls, said Mrs. Grinlin. Brazen indeed said Mr. Grinlin. What shall we do? Our cat does not appear to like seagulls, said Mrs. Grinlin. No, my dear, said Mr. Grinlin. Hamish is an accomplished seagull chaser. Of course, said Mrs. Grinlin. Tomorrow, Hamish can guard the lunch. A most ingenious plan, agreed Mr. Grinlin. Hamish did not think that this plan was ingenious at all. He spat and hissed as Mrs. Grinling secured him in the basket. There, there, said Mrs. Grinling consolingly. I'll have a tasty piece of herring waiting for you when you arrive home. did not agree with Hamish. His fur stood on end when the basket swayed, his whiskers drooped when he peered down at the wet blue sea, and he felt much too sick to even know
notice the seagulls, let alone scare them from the lunch. Pretty kitty, like a piece of lobster morning? This food gets better every day, Fred. Aren't you going to chase us, kitty? lack a day lack a day said Mr. Grinlin sadly. Meow, meow, agreed Hamish pitifully. On Wednesday evening, Mr. and Mrs. Grinlin racked their brains again for a new plan. What shall we do? said Mr. Grinlin. Mrs. Grinlin looked thoughtful. I have it, she exclaimed. Just the mixture for hungry seagulls. Indeed, my dear, said Mr. Grinlin. What have you in mind? Wait and see, said Mrs. Grinlin. Just wait and see. Mustard sandwiches, chuckled Mr. Grinlin. A truly superb plan, my dear. Truly superb. Mustard. Extra strong. On Thursday morning, Mrs. Grinling carefully packed the mustard sandwiches and sent them off down the wire to the expectant seagulls. Yuck! Ah! Oh! Ah! Oh! On Friday, Mrs. Grinling repeated the mustard mixture. It's the same as yesterday's lunch, Fred. All right, boys, let's go and have lunch elsewhere. So on Saturday, in the little white cottage on the cliffs, a jubilant Mrs. Grinling put away the mustard pot before she prepared a scrumptious lunch for Mr. Grinling. While he waited for his lunch down in the lighthouse on the rocks, Mr. Grinling sang snatches of old sea shanties as he surveyed the coastline through his telescope. And this is what he saw. No mustard in this lot, Tom. This is a delicious chocolate eclair, Fred. We'll fly back here for lunch again tomorrow, boys. Ah, oh, well, such is life, mused Mr. Grinlin as he sat down to enjoy a leisurely lunch in the warm sunshine. The Lighthouse Keeper's Lunch by Rhonda and David Armitage.